going back to that first picture, and oh, yeah, it's too far away, you can't tell. Yeah, I think you're right. Yes, it is. Yeah, the fly shows. Nice design feature. That is pretty cool. So Mark, yeah, I like that. I think Matt likes that. I'm curious what your clients think of that. Obviously, they liked it, but to what to what degree did they like it? Were they was it their idea? I invited him into the hangout, but I didn't I didn't get a reply. Yeah. Okay, here's here's an interesting topic: uh, spray finishing techniques with dye, shellac, and water-based finishes. We haven't had a woodshed on finishing yet, have we? It's been a while. If we've if we've covered it, we might have. Now I know you've got a spray system, right, Matt? I love my spray system. Matter of fact, I loaned it to um, Neil Lehman's nephew. Mm -hmm. Um, he lives in the he lives in a town next door, and sometimes he'll stop pop by the shop, and we'll have conversations. But I have an Ur, uh, Urlex uh, HVLP system, and um, I spray a lot of shellac as my um, base coats because it dries so quick. Mm -hmm. Wax shellac. Um, if I if I'm gonna color the wood, I use water. Uh, sorry, general finishes water based dye, or I use trans tint in alcohol. Mm -hmm. And then for top coats, I almost always use general finishes and Durovar because it also dries fast. So, um, you know, when I was using the oil-based products, um, I didn't like the fact that I can only apply one coat a day. Uh -huh. um, and, you know, when you – I'm not running a super profitable side business, but um, I don't want to take a week to finish the product. Right. Um, and so I can do. I can do it all in a day now, pretty easy. Wow. Um, the general finish is water-based dye stain, dries very quickly, sprays beautifully. The transient alcohol-based dye obviously dries very very quickly. Shellac is super quick, great for a base coat. Very hard, nice color, um, and compatible with. It's, it's compatible over the top of the general finish with water-based dye stain. It's not going to uh, make the dye stain puddle up and splotch. Um, and then the Endurovar is compatible on top of the shellac. And um, I would only spray Endurovar, but it, it dries slower than shellac, and it's like 70 bucks a gallon. Yeah. So, it, it, and that's kind of my go-to finishing schedule, and I love it. Super <laughs> love it. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've, I've just begun using general finishes. I use the Enduro bar on that table. Um, I've got some questions for you, which I'll save for next week. Sure. But I'm not sure that I'd go Enduro bar again. I'm not sure of the benefits between Enduro bar and um, their high performance, uh, I think it's 1650 finish. Yeah, you should look at their web page. I can, I, we can talk about it next week. Next week, I'll try and do wood chat from my shop so that I can show people my portable spray booth. Beautiful. So okay. Sure. So next week uh, will be. Which neighbor yeah. uses pre-cat lacquer, and I know a lot of people are also getting into water-based lacquer and yeah. tinted lacquer, tinted water-based lacquer. So yeah. Okay, you want to wrap it up? Let's so wrap it up. Next yeah. week's topic is finishing. Uh, most uh, focusing on spray finishing. Mm -hmm. Spray finishing and general finishes will be our focus. And by general finishes, do you mean the company? <laughs> yes, general general brand finishes. Okay. Which is uh, water based, right? Water based exclusively, I believe. Uh, no, they have both. Do they? Okay. Yeah, they have both. Um, they're, um, oh my gosh, what do they call it? Seal cell. Seal cell. Okay. Yeah, I've heard um, of that. No, they have some. They have some oil based stuff. They have some um, oil varnish blends. Okay. So. Cool. All right. Well, that wraps it up for today for Wood Chat, September 12, 2012. Um, next week's topic is going to be um, spray finishing, um, focusing on water-based finishes and products from General General Finishes Corp. Um, today we talked about the Escherich Museum. Um, we talked about veneering, um, and we talked about um, making jewelry and selling jewelry and how that can be profitable. 
We also saw Mark Cherry's great conference room table, uh, the 600-pound top on that sucker. So we had it the two sides. So, so we look forward to seeing you guys next week. Chris, you want to sign off for us? Thank you for joining us, WoodChat. So we'll be here next week at 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern, talking finishes. Thanks for joining us. Bye, everybody. Good night.